Hey guys, on today's video, I'm going to teach you how to update your Mac. All right, so the latest update is our security update. So to go into that, you guys need to go into your App Store. So if you guys don't see it down here, it looks like this, by the way, the App Store. Um, you guys can type it up in your Spotlight search. So just go to Spotlight, go into App, just type in App, and you guys will see the App Store right away. Just double click on it. There you go, it's open up. And your last tab up here will say updates okay so that's the last thing you see up here just click there you guys will see these plus you might see other updates that you might have you might not depending what you guys have installed on your mac so right away with security update how long is this gonna take not long at all i'm just gonna click on update so it does require a restart and that means that i can't actually finish off this video without it restarting and then cutting off the video so i'm gonna quickly go through it once you guys click download, it's going to take, well, it does depend on your download speed, but generally you guys shouldn't take more than 15 minutes for the whole download plus installation process of the security update. It's not humongous, so just make sure you have everything saved on your computer. It will restart. It's going to take a little bit to download, so I'm going to click right now download, and um, it will give me a warning when it's going to restart. So I will have a chance to just put pause or just not install it right now. Now, again, like I said, it might take most of you 15 minutes. Now it is a gig. So a gig, again, it's all relative of your internet speed. If you guys have really fast internet speed, a gig could be done in seconds. If you guys have pretty slow internet speed, it could take you half a day. So it all depends on your internet speed. The installation process, like I said, it's really short. It's just gonna restart your Mac. You guys will see a loading bar, Apple logo, and that's about it. Will you guys have to put your um, information again? No, you won't. It's a quick update. It's nothing big, nothing major, but just in case, always have that backup on your Mac using Time Machine. Right now, it's doing my backup using Time Machine. So Time Machine, you guys should have an external hard drive. Don't just enable it on your Mac. It's it's okay to do that, but it's gonna take up space on your Mac for no reason. What I do is use Time Machine with an external hard drive. And as you can see, I have three external hard drives. That's because I have three backups. And that's the way I think everybody should have, because I care about my documents. I know if one of my, let's say my computer crashes, everything gets erased, then I don't worry, because I have my first backup, right? Now let's say something happened to that external hard drive. They fail all the time. So here's my second one. And just in case, that's my third one, <laughs> okay? So I at least recommend having two external hard drives, but if you can't, at least have one, if you care about your documents, your photos, everything, okay? So Time Machine does back up your entire Mac, so that's why I highly recommend it. I have other videos that show you how to set it up. Um, it's really, really easy. And Time Machine is also really easy to handle. It does back up your documents, plus your apps, plus really everything. So if you guys took your Time Machine, plugged it into another Mac, you guys can load up everything that you guys had in your old Mac into your new Mac without a problem. And yes, it will take some time to do that, but it's going to transfer everything from your apps, your um, documents, everything, literally everything, okay? Even your, IO, your OS system, whatever you're at right now, that's what it's gonna transfer onto the other Mac, okay? So I'm just gonna leave this. Okay, so it's almost done downloading the whole thing. Um, anyways, it's gonna restart, so I can't really record that restart moment, but overall, I give you guys a good idea of what's gonna happen. If you guys have any comments, questions, you can write them down here below in the comments area, and don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.